Oh, my. <laughs> That's not what the horse says, is it? The horse goes... Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Can you make the froggy sound? Ribbit, ribbit. Let's hop like a froggy. Hop, 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 hop. And green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Yes, you could be a cat. Meow, meow. Purple cat, purple cat. Hey, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog. What do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. A sheep says, can you do it? Bah, bah, bah. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. You hear the goldfish swimming? Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see the teacher looking at me. Teacher says, welcome back to school, friends. Let's have some fun learning our ABCs. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. All different children with different color shirts today. Children, children, well, what do you see? I see, do you remember? A brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher. That's what we see. This famous book was written in 1964 by Bill Martin Jr., pictures by Eric Carle. They have written wonderful books together. In fact, my very next activity comes from Bill Martin Jr.'s Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. There's that name again, Bill Martin Jr. So when you find some really talented authors and illustrators, look for more of their books. Eric Carle has written The Very Hungry Caterpillar, The Very Busy Spider. What I like about Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, as you've seen before, if you've come to this program, is we open it up and right here, we have a very colorful alphabet. And do you know, who loves the very colorful alphabet? Oh, well, Ladybug does. Ladybug, Ladybug loves the alphabet. And sometimes she hides in the letters. Let's read them together. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U N V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, Ladybug, Ladybug, what do you see? Ladybug loves the ABCs. And she loves to eat green leaves. Chomp, 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 chomp. What she's going to do today, we've got the ABC. Let's say them together. And then ladybugs. Let's look at the first five or six letters. A, B. Do you know the next one? That's right. C and D, yes. E. And, oh, it's sideways, F. So Ladybug is gonna fly, fly out of the sky and hide amongst the letters. Your job, where she hid. Do you know where she hid? Is she behind the A? No, it's the B and a nice green leaf. Is she behind the B? No, 
It's the sea and a nice green leaf. Ladybug, ladybug, where are you? Are you behind the C? No, it's the letter D. D for Dave. Where's Ladybug? Ladybug, ladybug, where are you? Oh, she was hiding between the D and the E. Ladybug loves the ABCs. Now it's time to say bye. Bye-bye, Ladybug. Fly away home. Bye-bye. Let's do a game where we look at your name. So we have Ariana. Good morning, Ariana. Ariana's name starts with A. A, A. A is for Ariana. A, A. A is for Ariana. Let's do Marcus. M, M, M is for Marcus. M, M, M is for Marcus. Good morning, Marcus. Now, Laya. L, L, L is for Laya. L, L, L is for Laya. I'm sure I could say Leia. And somebody has a beautiful book. Good morning, Leia. And we have Oliver. Oliver has a nice round O. O, O, O is for Oliver. O, O, O is for Oliver. Good morning, Oliver. There's a big O and a little O. Yes, the name Oliver starts with the big O. And then we see beside Oliver, Oh, we need an X. Beautiful letter X. X, X, X is for Xavier. X, X, X is for Xavier. Good morning, Xavier. How are you? It's so good to see you. And Arab, you know your name starts with A. Do you want to give us the Arab dance? A, A. A starts for Arab. A, A, A starts for Arab. Good morning, friends. So today we will do our program, and, and Nick is going to play an instrument later. I wonder what he'll play. And at 11.30, we're going to open the mics, and you can sing along any songs that you like. You know, I have a maraca. Does anybody here have a musical instrument? Maybe you can clap your hands. Do you have a drum or a triangle or a little ukulele? What are you shaking? Oh, what does Xavier have? A shaker. Look at that, shakers. Oh, and look at Xavier and Oliver. They have shakers together. Let's shake, 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 shake. Here's a game we can play. This is a great one for babies. You can do it with anything. You can do it with teething toys. Shakey, shakey up. Shakey, shakey down. Shakey, shakey up. Now shake it all around. Shake it on your shoulder. Shake it on your head. Oh, ow! Shake it on your knee and shake it on your leg. So again, shaky, shaky up, shaky, shaky down, shaky, shaky up, we'll shake it all around. Shake it on your shoulder, shake them on your head, shake them on your knee and shake them on your leg. I got that melody from the Finger Family song. So Nick, I have a maraca. What do you have that you can play music with? Oh, oh, well, Dave, <laughs> thank you for asking me. You see, I got a huge instrument that you play with a bow. Any ideas, anyone, as to what that might be? You play it with a really long bow that has hairs. You put the hairs on the strings and you play it with the bow. Any ideas? I'm going to show you. Whoa! Oh, oh my God. 
goodness. Have you seen this before? I bet you probably have, but maybe some of you haven't. So I'll just tell you a little bit about it. This is a cello. It's a huge instrument. It kind of looks like a violin. You know, the, the little, little, little one that you put on your shoulder and you also play with a bow. But this is like a giant violin. It's really big. It has four strings and they all sound different. Let me, let me uh, play the strings for you. So you can play almost anything you want on the cello, any kind of song, melody, you can play it here. So I have a song to play for you today. It is from the movie, um, The Wizard of Oz. Now you probably haven't watched it, maybe your parents have, because it's from a long time ago. But anyways, this song, I believe it's called um, We're Off to See the Wizard, and I really love this song. I like the movie, but I really love this song. So I want to play that song for you right now. Let's do it. song on the cello before I learned it today. It's so fun. I really like it. <laughs> and now, back to Dave, of course, our wonderful host. You're muted, Dave. I just wanted to check if you were listening. We'll have Nick back later for some announcements. Thank you, Nick, for the cello. Let's do some, uh, some songs where you can do it with a friend or you can do it with your grown-up. You can do it with your brother or your sister, your sibling, and you can do it with your teddy bear or a stuffed toy. Arav, who do you have? Is that elephant you have? This one is called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So you get your partner, you put on your life jacket, zip, 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 zip. And for me, that's part of the routine. The zip, zip, zip allows a baby to know that we're going to do this song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Next verse. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. But if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Let's go up the stream and back row 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 your boat up the stream and back if you see a baby duck don't forget to quack 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 and let's go to the bay if you see a pirate row the other way row 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 your boat quickly to the bay but if you see a pirate, arr, roll the other way. Go, 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 Hey, you could still be in that position, and we could go rolling along in the little red wagon, rolling along in the little red wagon, rolling along in the little red wagon. Won't you come and join me? We're going to turn the corner. Can you go through the corner? We're winding along in the little red wagon winding along in the little red wagon winding along in the little red wagon won't you come and join me arab's elephant is in the red wagon ariana and laya are you ready we're going to go really fast 
We're speeding along in the little red wagon, speeding along in the little red wagon, speeding along in the little red wagon. Won't you come and join me? Uh oh, the wheel fell off. The wheel fell off because the axle's broken. The wheel fell off because the axle's broken. Wheel fell off because the axle's broken. Won't you come and join me? What to do? Our Rev will fix it with his hammer. Our Rev will fix it with his hammer. Our Rev will fix it with his hammer. Bang, 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 bang. And Oliver, Oliver will fix it with a hammer. Oliver will fix it with a hammer. Oliver will fix it with a hammer. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Xavier will fix it with the hammer. Xavier will fix it with the hammer. Xavier will fix it with the hammer. <sighs> bang, 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 bang. Marcus, are you ready? Marcus, Marcus will fix it with a little hammer. Marcus will fix it with a little hammer. Marcus will fix it with a little hammer. Bang, 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 bang. Now, Ariana, are you ready? You have your hammer. Ariana will fix it with her hammer. Ariana will fix it with her hammer. Ariana will fix it with her hammer. Bang, 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 bangity, bangity, bang. And Leia will fix it with her hammer. Leia will fix it with her hammer. Leia will fix it with her hammer. Bangity, 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 bang, bang, bang. Good work, everybody. So I wanted to talk about oral storytelling. And you see, there was a little old woman and a little old man many, many years ago. And they liked to bake. And they decided to make a gingerbread cookie. Oh, and they rolled that cookie into the shape of a little gingerbread man. Add and arms and legs, they put it in the oven and counted to five. One, two, three, four, five, but then bang, out of the oven ran the gingerbread man. And he said something to the little old woman and the little old man. He said, run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran down the farm trail, right past the barn where there was a cow. And the cow said, you know what the cow said? Mm -hmm. Stop, little gingerbread boy. I want to eat you up. No, no, no. I ran for the old woman. And I ran for the old man. And I'll run from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Zip. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he came to a horse. And do you know what the horse said? That's right. Nay! Stop, little gingerbread boy. I want to eat you up. No, no, no. I ran from the woman. I ran from the man. I ran from the cow. And I'll run from you too. I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And the horse could not catch that gingerbread man who came to another field. And there was a sheep. And do you know what the sheep said? You're right. Bah, bah, stop, little gingerbread man. I want to eat you up. Oh, I ran from a woman and I ran from a man, from a cow and a horse, and I'll run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran down the path and went through the farms. But he came to a river a big deep river and didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do because a gingerbread man is just a cookie and he didn't want to get wet because then he would dissolve. But he saw a fox and the fox said, hey, little gingerbread man, what seems to be the problem? Ah, oh, you want to cross the river because you are being chased by a woman and a man and a horse and a cow and a sheep. We'll jump up on my back, little gingerbread man, and we'll float across the river together. Okay, okay, said gingerbread man. 
and up he got on Fox's back, started to swim across the river. Oh, my toes are getting wet, Foxy, my toes are getting wet, wet. Jump up on my nose, Mr. Gingerbread Man, and we'll cross the river together, okay? Swimming, swimming. But you know that foxes are crafty characters, and they like to eat cookies just like you and me. And when they were halfway across the river, one, two, three, the fox snapped back his nose, the gingerbread man did a somersault, and fox got to be the one that ate the delicious cookie. Yum, yum, yum. And that's the story of the gingerbread man. Yeah, he was just a cookie, Nick. Don't be sad because you can always make more cookies and you can tell the story again and again and again because that's the way children like them. And by the way, that story has threes and many stories for children have threes, the three little pigs, Goldilocks and the three bears because we get to repeat the main motif three times. You'll see that many classic children have that. So we had the horse, the cow, and the sheep. And the gingerbread man said, run, 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 fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Let's look on chat. Do we have any requests? You can put them in chat, any song you like. If I don't know it, Nick will play it on cello. Let's see. How about, we have a few minutes. Let's do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Being that we already saw a sheep, this is a story about a little girl that had a real sheep. And she took it to school one day, but that was against the rule. So school just started up and Mary's going to go to school and take the lamb with her. Are you ready to sing with me? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. Little lamb, Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. What happens next? And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. And then it followed her to school one day. School one day, school one day, it followed her to school one day. But that was against the rules because it made all the children laugh and play. Wow, laugh and play. Wow, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher, teachers are strict sometimes and they have to follow the rules. So maybe now teachers are saying you have to stay a few feet from your friends and you have to wear your mask and we can have no lamb in school. So the teacher took it outside, took it out, took it out. So the teacher took it out because it was against the rule. And the lamb missed Mary so meh, meh. But when it was time to go home, the lamb waited outside. Do you know what that sign says? It says, sorry, no pets inside. So the lamb waited and waited. And when school was over, there they are again. Let's sing together. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. We like to celebrate grandparents at College Montrose Children's Place. And I found this really cool book called Go, Grandma, Go. Actually, I read the grandpa one a couple weeks ago. So there's a series. And I like these kind of books for preschool children. There's not a lot of words. And even though it's a board book, hold on to it. Because when you get big, when you're five or four, and you're learning how to read the words, you'll know that this says, Go, Grandma, Go, on every page. Beep, 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 don't stop. Go, Grandma, go. Woo, glide, it's a slippery slide. Go, Grandma, go. One stand twirl, hey, give me a whirl. Go, Grandma, go. It's fly, way up high, yeah. Go, 
Grandma Bogue. Pluck and plop, taste and shop. What should we buy today? Go, Grandma, go. Down the hill. Oh, don't spill. Go, Grandma, go. Kick, splash, waves crash. Go, Grandma, go. Climb high, touch the sky. Go, Grandma, go. Breeze is low, to and fro. Go, Grandma, go. Oh, it's time to take a nap. Slow, Grandma, slow. So if everybody would like to show the camera something they have, I have my cow. Nick, do you have something to show the camera? We'll do a brown bear song. You can do a brown bear song anywhere you go. If you're in the park, maybe you see a squirrel. You can say, squirrel, squirrel, what do you see? I see you climbing up a tree. So we'll start with Nick. Nick has a monkey. Nick, Nick, what do you see? I see Nick with his monkey. Arav, Arav, what do you see? Arav has an elephant to see. Big elephant, Arav. Marcus, Marcus, what do you see? You have a favorite teething toy you like to bite. Oh, yes, we won't take your teething toy. Don't worry, Marcus. Ariana, Ariana, what do you see? I see Leia playing with me. Leia, Leia, what do you see? I see Oliver looking comfy. Oliver, Oliver, what do you see? My sibling Xavier, that's who I see. I like your toy, Xavier. Do you have a book? Do you have a book? Wow, Oliver, you have a book. Banging that book. Nick, is it time for announcements? And folks, stick around. After announcements, we want you to open the mics and the children can hear each other's voices and we'll sing some favorite songs together. So please stick around. Nick, what's happening at College Montrose Children's Play? Excellent question, Dave. So let's see, first of all, I would um, like to say that I am working on developing more and more videos um, to post every week. So I just would like to, to get any requests from, from any of you as to what you wanna see, more puppet shows, more cello playing, more stories, more book reading, more songs, whatever. You can just tell us at the email at info at cmcp.ca. That's info at cmcp.ca. You can uh, email us any requests and then I can do that for any of the videos. Now, it is time for you to know what we're going to be doing in the next week or so. Oh, that rhymed, that was cool. <laughs> Let's see here. So, of course, tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday, we have Circle and Story Time again with Dave. Dave right here, our amazing host. Same time, same place, okay? Then afterwards, just like today, we have Building Connections again with Dave. And tomorrow's topic will be the effects of screen time, okay? This can be very important. So stick around tomorrow if you want to. Now, Monday, we have uh, Virtual Learning with Nature with Mehmet at 9.30 a.m., a bit earlier than Circle Time, but that's okay. And then, of course, at our regular circle time, we have circle time with Dave again. And then building connections afterwards. Tuesday, circle time at the same time, same place, but with Marnie this time. And then afterwards, we have, instead of building connections, we have Family Corner with Karina, who's going to be doing the specific topic of infant attachment. Wednesday, we have circle time again, same time, same place, but with Mehmet. Afterwards, we have building connections. Thursday, 10.30, same place, same time story time and circle time, but with Melanie. Melanie will be back and she's gonna be doing it Thursday, all right? And then building connections afterwards with the topic of choosing and using children's books that are two to five, uh, for, for children that are two to five years old, okay? And then at 12 p.m. on that same day, we have cooking with Jude and Donia. Friday, same time, same place, circle time, but with Mehmet. Building connections afterwards, but then, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., we have the ages and stages questionnaire that you can answer. Saturday, same time, same place, circle time with Dave. Dave will be back next Saturday. 
and then building connections afterwards with the specific topic of the emerging reader development steps. Dave will be able to emphasize on that. Um, so Dave will be back not only tomorrow, but next weekend on Saturday as well. And yeah, if you have any questions, any concerns, any thoughts, just email us at info at cmcp.ca. It's right here. This is the email. If you want to talk to Karina specifically, this is her phone number, 416-845-7223. Now you can find this exact same schedule if you go to cmcp.ca. Just go to the website and it will be right there, I think, on, on the main page. It's one of the first things that comes up and you'll be able to see the entire schedule for this upcoming week. Uh, you can just click on that and it'll take you right there. So that is it. And then if you go to the website on the schedule and then scroll down, it will give you a description of every single uh, program that we're currently of offering. Okay, so you can check that out. Again, cmcp.ca, that's cmcp.ca and you can just quickly find the schedule and check it out whenever you want to. So. Um, that is indeed it. Now I just have to figure out how to stop sharing. <laughs> Those are the announcements. So yeah, if you have any questions, any, any thoughts, any feedback, email us at info at cmcp.ca. Thank you. Now back to Dave for. Well, thanks, Nick. Somebody has let me know that they would like more stories. So I'll do some more stories tomorrow. And if you have a favorite, uh, let me know in the chat and I'll see if I have that book around and we'll do uh, more, more book sharing time. This is uh, a book, but it's, uh, it's a Peter Cap book that has a song and the song is Wheels on the Bus. And I'm hoping some of our friends will turn on their microphone and help us to sing. And uh, again, folks, uh, uh, bye to Arav. We'll see you later, Arav. Thank you for joining us. Um, again, you know, a children's book doesn't have to be read from front to back, and, and it can be an opportunity to talk, you know, about a trip that we went on, or somewhere that we might be going, or uh, what, what other kids do when they're, when they're together. So a book can just be an opportunity to lead to, to conversation. And uh, when I bring up this book, well, what I like to do is sing, and I sing a song called The Wheels on the Bus. You see the stop sign? So stop muting your microphone and open up and sing with us, please. Come on, everybody. Don't be shy. Give it a try. All right, come. Otherwise, you have to hear my voice some more. Oh, my goodness. Here we All go. Right. The wheels on the bus go. Round and round, round and round. Excellent. Round and round. The horn, the horn. The horn go. The horn on the bus. Beep, 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 Oh, it's raining. The wipers. The wipers on the bus. Swish, 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 what about the babies? Babies on the bus go Babies on the bus go Happy babies. Let's do happy babies. Happy babies on the bus go. Friends, should we sing Old MacDonald? 
Do you know old McDonald? It goes like, old McDonald, <laughs> you know it, you know it. Let's start with the cow. Old McDonald had a farm. Mama, I'm gonna watch more of it than now. It's on the old McDonald. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. On the farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a moo moo here, a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. What animal should be next on the farm? What animal will we see on the farm, I wonder? A pig! Oh, a pig? Okay, I don't know if I have a pig. Let's imagine a big pig. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this farm, it had a pig. Yeah, yeah. With an oink, oink here. Oink, oink, oink there. How about this one? Let's do one more. Sheep. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. On, on the farm and had a sheep. E-I-E-I-O. Bad. Bad. Here. Bad. There. Here about. There about. Everywhere about. about. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> so friends. I'm gonna leave you with one more story because we did grandma, we're gonna do grandpa. And I want to remind you that uh, Riverdale Farm is a great place to see animals. Uh, I can't emphasize when my kids were young how much they learned just from walking around Riverdale Farm. Safe place to walk around, free every day from 10 to five. If you don't know where it is, I think the Carlton Streetcar goes right there. Um, it's down by Parliament and Broadview and Gerard in the Valley. They have all those farm animals. So maybe grandpa takes his bicycle. This is called Go Grandpa Go. You can read it with me. Zig zag, zoom zoom. Go Grandpa Go. Pass flowers, lawn showers. Go Grandpa Go. Under trees, there's buzzing bees. Bzz. Go. Grandpa, go. Ah, uh, beep, it's a busy street. Go, Grandpa, go, go. Good reading. Go, Grandpa, go. You're reading. Push, read. One, two, three. Go. Go, go Grandpa, go, Grandpa. You got it. Dash and dart. Let's fill the cart. Go, Grandpa, go. Go, go Grandpa. Puddle stomp, it's a muddy romp. Go. Grandpa, go, Grandpa. Yeah. Night sky, fly high. Go, Grandpa, go. Go, Grandpa. One more, it's bedtime story. Rock and go. hum, the day is done. Go, Grandpa, go, Grandpa, go, Grandpa. Great reading. So there's a great book where children see that they can participate in the story. Uh, go, Grandpa, go. It's fairly new. They would have that at another story on Roncesvalles, which has the most diversity of all bookstores in Toronto for adults and kids. Another story on Roncesvalles. That's where I got these. Folks, it's been a pleasure to see you. Thank you to Nick, our cello-playing environmental studies student support person and friends come back tomorrow morning maybe we'll see you either tomorrow or monday bye now bye lexi lexi is here i didn't even know lexi showed up lexi bye ariana bye. Leia, have a great day